I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Now, unless you was on cloud 10, on the rap, how you heard the motherfucking word? What's good, y'all? It's yours truly. Once again, Heartbreak Ace. If you're familiar with my channel or not, hit that like, comment, subscribe so the algorithm get this breaking content every time I upload. Because you know, I'm going to tell you why the algorithm really got a problem with me. I already told you previous videos that his sister, Comments, is my girl now. And he, you know, he, uh, he a bum, so he stay in our garage. And you know, we have our little real life special time, me and his sister comments. And he be hearing us getting, getting it on and he be hearing a song playing. And you know what I mean? He be getting mad because he just be like, Baby, when I smash, put your back in it. Can you go think she can ask in it? She want a whole bit, she don't want half of it. Drug sex, drug sex, yeah, yeah. Rich sex, rich sex, yeah, yeah. I know you're nasty. She be touching on her own body. <laughs> nah. Topic of discussion of why we here. Um, if you haven't heard Stuck on a Rock or what have you, um, Little Dirk, um, he got like 10 kids. He in a contest with Nick Cannon with how many kids you can have in the world. He have 10 that we know of. And one of his kids is his son. He's 10, 11 years old. And apparently his stepfather, cause Dirk and the mother, they're not together. But Lil Dirk's stepfather got in an altercation with um, the mother, Lil Dirk's son mother, and it got physical, violent. I can't show this on YouTube, of course, but long story short, um, well, long story shorter, uh, the gun that was on the guy's hip, the stepdad fell off his hip and the son picked it up in defense of his mother. He shot the stepdad. He didn't die or anything like that, but he shot him. And I can show y'all the pictures or whatnot. And I can pretty much put up the post of what he said after it. This is the stepdad. So let's spin the block. All right, y'all, we spent the block one time. Hope y'all ain't dizzy. You really shouldn't be. Now, I gave y'all a little receipts. Y'all saw um, what the stepfather had to say after the shooting. He can't believe he would do him like that because of all the things he did for him and what have you. Um, before I even commentate even more on it, uh, my guy, DJ Academics, was on, uh, I think it was Clubhouse or a live stream, and he was talking to WAC 100. And um, they had a little uh, critique or debate about how they felt about the situation. So before I even um, get y'all my feelings about it, let's spin the block again. Me, I'm like, yo, this is exactly why you don't want to be a stepdaddy, man. I'm like, yo, yo, I seen a nigga post up. He say, yo, I, I bought you four wheelers. I bought you this and this what you did to me. Like, yeah, nigga, you not my daddy. That's what happened. You know what I mean? So it's like. I'm pretty sure if there was a domestic dispute with Dirk and the mama, I don't think he's shooting Dirk. You know what I mean? Why? That's his father. Um, I don't know the, the status of their relationship, but, but it looks like the dude is basically, you know, he begging he begging Dirk to come get his kid. Rightfully so. I mean, yo, your kid definitely... I, I mean, also, too, you can't really be fighting in front of kids, man. You know what I mean? But it looked like it was like some whole hood, little ratchet situation. I feel bad for the dude, but... Um, I can't say whatever the kid did. You know, growing up as a kid, when especially like when, when your mom not with your dad, your mom is like your mom and your dad, and you almost and and the older you get, you feel like you gotta protect her, even if you're like nine. I don't even know how old the kid is, so I can see like kid like ten, eleven years old. You know? Yeah, I, so I mean, I just hope there are no charges that come out of it. I, I can't say I'm mad at what the kid did. I'm happy the dude didn't die, but. 
you know, if, if you if you had a single mother you grew up with, and if she dealt with men or men came around, you know, if you were unfortunate to hear them have arguments or whatever, you felt you probably felt a little helpless, especially when you want to defend your mom in an argument or something like that, because you don't want to see nobody argue with your mom or put hands on your mom. So I, I can't blame the kid at all. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, obviously, the dude is turning into like, yo. This is the type of I was teaching him, so this is why he did it. But man, listen, you a stepdaddy to dirt kids, man. Like, if you arguing with his, with his mama with a gun on your hip, apparently the gun was on his hip, so so he had the gun. So the kid, mm -hmm. I don't know if the kid disarmed him or like, wow, something happened. The kid grabbed the gun. And the gun fell on the ground. Look at that from the kid perspective more than the dude perspective. I hope the kid ain't, you know, sometimes them type of traumatizing situations kind of make you either feel like some of you not. So I feel bad for the kid on that one. I'm not going to lie. Listen, I feel like this. Something more had to been going on for the kid to trip that hard. You don't think it's the first They're time the mother, they got into it? They saying the mother was whooping on dude. So for this to happen... It had to be a previous situation to where the kid at some point in time might have felt I might have to help my mom one day. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's a fact. That, yeah, it's just probably not the first time. Nah, definitely wasn't. And I, not to put it on dude, you know, maybe the mom be wilding out. I don't know. Um, I do know at this point in time, with this type of thing, Happening with that kid at ten years old, it's time to Dirk. For Dirk, Dirk need to come get him, cause he ain't he had it one way from here. If Dirk don't get him and redirect, put him in a different environment, we are gonna hear about this kid. What? All right, y'all, we back. We spent the block twice. Hope y'all ain't dizzy, but if you is, I understand. Now, let me say this. Um, I am a father and a stepfather, but I'm so and involved in being a father. I don't have a title of a stepfather. I'm just simply a father. Um, I love all my kids the same. And I'm gonna say this, bro. Like, um, if it's a real relationship, this me speaking on academics. I can't stop them from loving each other. However, you gotta understand it's a total package. If you love the mother, you have to love the kids as well. Now, you might have did things for him, but it's a difference between being there for a child and being a stepdad or a father figure. Like, you have to guide them. You have to show them right from wrong. You have to nurture them in a way that a man can only do. Kind of like tough love, but not exactly real tough, so to speak. You have to show them the rights and wrongs because if you was really developing him in life as you should with the lack of his real father being around, then this wouldn't have happened because you want to put yourself in a situation that you got violent with the mother. Cause let's be clear. Obviously this wasn't the first time you want to put yourself in a situation to get so violent with the mother, beating her up like that to the point that he felt like one day he was going to have to pick up a gun and shoot you. And it had to get so violent. He took the gun from you and he didn't next actually take it. The gun fell off of your hip. So that's even more of a red flag. You get in an altercation with the mother so violent, a gun on your, off your hip falls down. What if it would have went off? What if it would have shot the kid or the mother or yourself and shot you in a way that you wouldn't have came back from that? So it's already showing a red flag that with all this posting that you posting is smoking mirrors, man, because you should never have been in an altercation fighting her with a gun on your hip in the first place. Let's be clear about that. But that don't give it's kind of hard to even debate about this because I can't say it don't give his son the right because he need to protect his mother. However, in a position like them doing that, he not used to that type of lifestyle. So that could have went terribly wrong. He could have been unable to handle the gun. It could have backfired. Anything could have went. It could have went totally left. Somebody could have actually died. And it could have been his mother trying to shoot the guy and miss the guy and shot his mother. That's why I just said the whole act period should have never even been in play. 
because you know I'm pretty sure the neighborhood he growing up at, watching his father uh, with the drill music and all of that, he probably think it's cool to do that. And that's all he know. He ain't even around his father like he should, but he see his father famous for drill music type of stuff. We all know about Chicago drill. And that's what he watching growing up. And he see how much everybody love his father. So at 10, 11 years old, yeah, you protect his mom, but it was so easy to pick up that gun because of the lifestyle that he's used to seeing. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Because I'm pretty sure they got violent plenty of other times. Little man just knew he couldn't beat the guy, so he wait, he had to get leverage, and that leverage was that gun when it fell on the floor. Now, I'm not bashing him for sticking up for his mother. He's only 10, 11 years old. I'm just saying he reacted because that's what he grew up understanding. That's what he's supposed to do. But let's put some sources in there. Let's protect your mother, but let's not... I can see the future of this kid getting in, in, in incidents that he don't need to be in. You may not be like your father and become famous. And if your father don't come grab you under his wing like I think he should, it's going to be bad for you in this world. Because you already got the adrenaline rush and being shell shot for shooting a guy. People of your age, they're going to give you credit. They're about to big you up. Them little kids going to think you the guy, man. And that's going to gas you up to the point of no return. And that's why I think this is wrong, guy. I think Dirk need to get his child. It's a boy. Now, a father should be around all his kids. His, his boy and his girl, because his girls look at dad like Superman, and she want the man to grow up like resembling her father. But you know, sometimes ain't the case. You have these bitter people. I'm not going to speak on nothing, but sometimes you can't be in your kid's life, but you definitely need to be in your son's life without a doubt. Because you got to teach them how to grow up to be men and respect women in a way that you want them to respect their mother, your mother, their grandmother, you know, women, period. And that's my intake on it. I'm not blaming him for, for protecting his mom, but we need to go ahead and let's save this child now. Before he be on tech TV, like the, the guy that was Whitney Juvie 16 that, that killed Pop Smoke for the little $3,500. Got out in four years, and now he out here clout chasing, doing interviews. Don't let that be your son, little dirt. So if you ever get across this video, man, grab your son, bro. Because I respect you, and I believe that you real about what you say. And if you gonna come out with a video like All My Life, practice what you preach. It's time to get your son, man. Get him away from that lifestyle, because you rich. Get him away from the jungle. That's the purpose of us getting away and making it in life generational wealth for our kids so they don't have to go deal with this. They can become their own bosses, entrepreneurs, and they can um, uplift the community as a whole, together. Because one person can't change the world, but one person can rub up on the next and the next and the next. And that's how we change all of this. But that's all I have for y'all, man. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Like I said again, this world every day shows me it shows y'all my importance of saying love each other. I really mean that. Till next time, it's yours truly. Heartbreak.